so this question is about whether you can sleep train but continue having your baby use a pacifier. Um, yes, you can is my quick answer. However, it does make things a little more, it can make things a little more complicated. A lot depends on your baby's age and their ability. So if they're of an age where they can find it and grab it and replace it all on their own, it's totally no problem in my opinion. A doctor, a dentist might have a different opinion. They might want you to get rid of it by a certain age. But if we're looking at it solely from a sleep perspective, once it's a tool that your baby or child can operate on their own, in my mind, it becomes more of a sleep helper than a sleep crutch. But let's focus on the age of baby um, that is not yet able to do that, and especially one who's, who's nowhere near able to do that. I find that babies can often be expected to do that somewhere between seven to 10 months, um, but also remember that your baby is waking up, they're disoriented, it's dark, so whether they can physically do it is one thing, but whether they're even gonna think to do it in the middle of the night um, is quite another thing. If they're close, then you might consider just practicing, keeping it while you're doing the sleep learning process. But when you respond to your baby, maybe you're placing it, the tendency is to pop it right in their mouth, but you wanna to try to work away from the bat if you're trying to keep it. For example, let me place it in your hand, and then if needed, maybe I guide your hand to your mouth, because you wanna create that muscle memory within your baby of like, oh, this is something that I can look for and grab and put in myself. A lot of babies, if they know that you'll come do it, even once they can, they'll kind of just wait for you too. So you want to kind of suggest, hey, baby, this is something that you need to work towards doing on your own. Um, and then eventually you could just work up to just pointing out where it is and you know having them get it themselves, not even putting it in their hand. There are glow-in-the-dark pacifiers. I always say place several in there if you're hoping your baby to find it. Um, it's easier to find one of several than it is to find one of one. So maybe put a whole bunch in there. Um, so that's if you want to keep it and they're close to being able to finding it, which again might be seven to 10 months. If they're not even close, let's say you're working with a four month old and seven to 10 months seems really far away, then I would really think long and hard about it. It's, it's not a hard and fast rule in my opinion, whether you have to ditch it or keep it, but just keep in mind the basic principle that whatever your baby needs and wants to get to sleep is what they're probably going to wake for and then want and need again to get back to sleep throughout the night. So if you're teaching your baby to learn to sleep independently of you, but they are still dependent on the pacifier and the pacifier needs to be operated by you for quite a bit longer, then you're kind of tied, you're still gonna be tied to the process either until you decide to ditch it or until your baby reaches an age and stage where they can do it on their own. Um, so you do have to kind of decide, is it something I'm willing to help with for a limited period of time? Or is it, do I just wanna take the mindset of, if my baby's learning a new way to sleep anyway, why don't we have that new way just not be tied to a tool that he or she can't operate on their own? Um, so it's a personal decision, um, and hopefully that gives you a little bit more information to make yours.